next up, we're going to welcome the next team. Uh, this team is uh, Tulibot from Indonesia, and we're going to have Anu from the Cloud AI team joining as a co-host to ask the team a couple of questions. I'm really excited to see the smart gloves and smart glasses that they worked on. So let's take a look at their demo and see what they built. For 100 million people all over the world are suffering from disabling hearing loss and communication became one of the biggest problems that they are facing. An exclusion from communication can have a significant impact on everyday life. It can cause loneliness, isolation, frustration, and discrimination. Then what can we do? Tulibot came as the solution. Tulibot is an integrated assistive device created to help the communication, especially for people with hearing loss. Smart Glasses is one of the devices that offered by Tulipot. is an integrated assistive technology that able to transcribing audio input into text output. It's very nice to meet you all. We are from Indonesia. And we are going to do the best for the competition. Here's the demonstration of how to report smart glasses working. How are you? Nice to meet you. These are several options in Tulibot application. Virtual reality. Smart glasses. These devices are connected with Bluetooth to make sure that the phone are connected with the smart glasses. And then we have live transcribe. Hello, nice to meet you. Deaf people are communicating by doing sign language. This brings the idea to us to developing smart glove prototypes. These gloves are able to transcribe being gesture into audio output. Hi everyone, it's good to see you Team Telebot. How are you? Hi, we're great. Hi, good. Hi, I'm very good. Yeah. Good, good to see you. All the way from Indonesia, one of my favorite countries. I've been there many times. And we have Anu, my friend. Uh, and hey, Eric. Teammate, hi, it's good to see you. We're so, so close to you. so far. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> <in> New York. <laughs> so thank you so much for joining us. You want to introduce yourself? Yeah, sure thing. So, hi everyone. My name is Anu Srivastava. I am an engineer in developer relations for cloud AI and ML. I'm also based in New York. And back when we used to be in the office, I used to sit next to Erica. Uh, but what I work on are some of the APIs you might have heard of, like cloud vision, natural language, and stuff that we'll see today. So my role is to bring the power of ML to app developers around the world. Great, great. Cool. So should we get started with some questions? Yeah, yeah let's get started with the first question. So I was so excited to see this app, especially with all of the APIs that you're using. Can you tell me what was the inspiration behind this and how did you get started programming with all the hardware? So uh, I remember that day when all of us are going to the cafe and we see that the waiters are deaf. We understand that uh, the waiters are having a very hard time to communicate, especially with the customer. And then we also see the data in Indonesia that there are 40, 45 million people in Indonesia who are suffering from disabling hearing loss. And that was a very huge number. And uh, we are understand that deaf people are having inequality in their life, especially in education and communication. And at that moment, we are thinking like, why can't we try to build a solution that might be helpful for deaf people, especially in their communication? And for the hardware, because all of us are starting uh, from different major, we are trying to mapping the, the problems uh, in the development. And then we start just to uh, develop uh, the hardware and the program. Super cool. Um, I had a question about the gestures. So you have the gestures and then you're able to output it as audio. How did that work? Oh. 
Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, so uh, there are several uh, components in Smart Glove that we are using right now. The first sensor is flex sensor that stick in four finger and thumb. And second is an inertial measurement unit, or EMU, is an electronic device that measure and report body specific force and angular rate using combination of accelerometer and gyroscope. Oh. The device then turn the finger movement into electric signal, which are sent to mini computer in here. Uh, in this case, it's Raspberry Pi. The board transmit the signal uh, wirelessly to a mini computer uh, that translates them into spoken word using speaker in here. At a uh, rate about one word per second. Then regarding the learning step of the smart clues, um, first, the reader need to repeat each hand gesture something like uh, 20 times, something like hello, 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 until 20 times. Then the custom machine learning algorithm turn this gesture into letters, number, and words they represent. So I think that's how uh, the smart clothes outputting the spoken word audio. Very cool. So what's next for Toolibot? Uh, for the next plan, we will develop the three things from Toolibot. So the first, we will use copy and display module on smart places to project the output. So we will not use mirror anymore, and it will be more comfortable to use and less heavy. And for the smart tool, we will use materials that are more comfortable to the uh, for using for the users. And we already developed a new feature of the Toolbot application that is called group captioning. This feature can help that can help deaf people when they are in a fairly large scope of communication, like seminar or, or something like that. So when deaf people are at such event and there is no interpreter, they will find it difficult to get information from the speaker. Using the previous feature would be difficult to use because nearby sounds would interfere with the sound from the speaker. So we provide a group chat that accommodates seminar participants and the speakers. The results of speech text from the speaker will be broadcast to each participant who is part of the group chat and the deaf people can receive information from the speaker's live caption without any disturbance. So those are the three things that we will continue to develop. Wow, well, that's great. I'm excited to see, see what comes next. So now we're gonna take a question from the live chat. So I've also been checking some of the questions. Uh, the question is, how much time did it take to make this fully operational? So uh, how much time to make this thing fully operational is we are doing several trainings. Like, I think it's a lot. And it's actually not 100% not fully um, operational because there are still so many things to do to make these things work. And I think uh, for now, this, uh, for this market asset, it works 95, uh, sorry, 95% uh, for the accuracy and, and stuff. And then for the smart uh, I can say that the accuracy is for about 85%. Wow, that's great. Thank you so much for sharing. And this is great. We, um, we have to wrap up, but I really enjoyed hearing about your project and really enjoyed the demo. And I like the innovation with everything and I'm just so impressed. And thank you for sharing your journeys and, and process with us. And thanks Anu for, for being my co-host for this. Thanks. Yes, thank you. Yeah, sure. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thanks so much.